Good morning, guys. Welcome to Arise Shine Within. You are here with Saint. Guys, happy Monday. I hope that you are having a wonderful, wonderful uh, Monday morning. All right, guys, so listen. So today I am here to share a wonderful recipe with you guys. I recorded this video like a couple months ago. At some, I think it was like at the beginning of the year sometimes. I did this video and it is of a cornbread stuffing guys oh my gosh it is so delicious all right so I hope that you go ahead and watch this video and that this video will be a blessing to your life and to your family and to your kitchen and your home all right guys but before we go ahead and dive into the video I would like to share this word with you all right so this word is coming from the book of Psalms yes Psalms 139 verse 14 all right and it says I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works and that my soul know right well do you know right well that you are wonderfully and fearfully made guys i challenge myself you know to look into the mirror and to ask myself you know do you know that you are wonderfully and fearfully made you know do you believe that you are wonderfully and fearfully made sometimes we can you know fall into the trap of others opinions of who we are or what they think we are and if we are not confident within ourselves of who we are you know then the opinion of others you know can we can allow the opinion of others to become our own reality right you know as the Spirit of God is teaching me you know at this state in my life you know about loving and, and accepting me for who I am you know this word you know came in and you know it has been a blessing to me and today I would like to pass it on to someone you know to one of my sisters that may be out here you know you know being challenged you know by life you know accepting and loving yourself for who you are or where you are all right I just want to remind you that you know God says life says creation says that you are wonderfully and perfectly made. It doesn't matter about your shortcoming. It doesn't matter about your mistakes. It doesn't matter about you know your qualification. It doesn't matter about any of that. You know the fact that I am breathing, the fact that you are breathing, the fact that I'm alive. Right? It's not many people is able to say I'm alive and I am breathing today. Not a lot of people have that. You know, but I have that. You have that. So today, my friend. I hope that you know right well that you are wonderfully and fearfully made and despite what you may see and what you may hear and what you may feel you have confidence knowing that I belong right I belong in this world I belong right I am special right I am to be loved and I love me I appreciate who I am and I thank God for life. I thank God that I am breathing. I thank God that I am still here. And not only that I am here, but I am here knowing that I am wonderfully and I am fearfully made, right? I know. All right, guys, so be blessed. It's a new week. I pray that you, know, you will find peace and joy you know, as you go throughout this week, no matter what the challenges that life may bring your way, right? Remember, I am wonderfully and fearfully made. Thus say the word of the Lord, right? So it doesn't matter where, where I'm at, what I have, what others may think of me, right? It doesn't matter. All that matters is that I know that I am wonderfully and fearfully made. All right, guys, so be blessed. Have a wonderful week. God bless you, and I hope that you will watch this video to the very end. All right, if you made it through to the very end, guys, go ahead and drop me a heart emoji. Show your girl some love. All righty, until next time, remember that God loves you, life supports you, and all things belong to you. It's not over until you win. Go on.
go on in and check out this video. Thank you guys. Bye. Good morning guys, this is how we make cornbread stuffing without chicken. So I already went ahead and I made my cornbread batter here. We're going to bake it now for on 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 20 minutes or 15 through 20 minutes. Okay guys, so now we're going to cut off our our celery we have some thyme here <clears throat> we have some sage and we have some parsley and garlic and onion so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna chop these up and then we're gonna saute everything okay guys so now we're getting ready to saute all the, the veggies so we're gonna pour in some olive oil just a little bit and we're also going to be using some some butter. Where did I put my butter? I just took out a stick of butter. It's a half of butter. Stick of butter. That's when you put in the olive oil or cooking oil before you put in your butter. All right. So whenever you're making a dish, and it requires. My, my cornbread is finished, okay? I'm gonna have to take that out of the oven. And it requires oil and butter. You put the oil first and then you put the butter. So it prevents it from burning. Prevent the butter from burning. All right, so now we're gonna go on in with our, with our, our celery and garlic. We're gonna have that saute down for a while. Let me take out my cornbread. Saute this right here. Saute, saute. Then we're going to go on in with our, our garlic. Garlic right there. And then with our garlic. Bowl. And we're going to go on in with all our herbs or thyme or sage or parsley all right guys here to saute for a while and we're gonna go work on our cornbread okay guys so look at my cornbread it's all golden baked right through all right guys so i'm gonna let this cool down for a little bit and then we're gonna break it apart and then we're gonna combine all the the herbs and the spice and the the Cream of chicken and the cream of celery and some seasoning and we're good to go. We're going to bake it. All right, so stick around and see how we finish this dish. Okay, guys, so while our cornbread is cooling down and our veggies and herbs are sauteing on the stove, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prepare my eggs. So I'm going to use three eggs. Um, maybe two. I'm just going to use two. I'm just gonna whisk it out. And guys, remember this one is without the chicken. I did the one with the chicken before and I loved it. You know, and next time I'll definitely do that recipe and show you guys. In the future, I'll do another one with the chicken in it. But this one, I'm doing it without the chicken. All right? And it's gonna be delicious just the same. So we're going to go ahead and whisk, whisk that out because we're going to need it later. And then now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break up the... And it's not as... It's not really that cold. Like, you know, it's still a little bit warm because I just took it out of the oven. But it's okay. Because I got to... I got to... I'm like kind of pressed for time. I have to go get my hair done today. So I want to get this thing going. All right. Put all the cornbread in there. You can still see the steam coming out of it. Mmm. Wow, so good. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna break this up. Okay guys, now for this dish, we're gonna need some chicken broth, but I'm gonna go ahead and make my own. So I'm just using water and I'm using some of this chicken bouillon seasoning in here to make the, the broth. Yeah, so this is gonna add to the flavor This is going to add to the flavor. Just go ahead and whisk that out. Okay. okay, guys. So, these are all the stuff that we're going to put into this dish. We're going to use some top stove uh, mixed stuff in, guys. And I'm using this because I don't have any croutons. I forgot to get the croutons. So we're going to use that and I'm also going to be using some, some crackers. All right, we're using some cream of chicken and a can of cream of celery. And I also have the broth that I went over here and I made. All right, and to that, we're also going to be adding some, some garlic seasoning and some onion seasoning and a little black pepper and some black pepper. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start combining everything together. Let's do this. You know my hands are clean and I'm gonna go ahead and just break up this break up this cornbread okay so we're gonna break everything up and then we're gonna go on in with our with our crackers that I break apart together all right then we're gonna go on in with our with our onion powder like a teaspoon garlic powder Oop, forgot all that. a little pepper man I think I put too much onion powder in here Okay guys, so we're gonna combine all the, everything together in this bowl here. All right, and then next we're going in with some sauteed veggies, spices. This thing smells so good, guys. It smells so good. Alrighty, so we're gonna combine all of this niceness right here. <clears throat> Alright, so next we're gonna go on in with our stock chicken broth here that I made. Turn this around a little bit. Guys, then we're gonna go on in with our cream of chicken. I'm going with our cream of celery. I'm 
going to mix everything together. Mix, mix, mix. that we beat it up earlier. Everything is looking lovely. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my baking dish, butter it up. And then we're going to stick it in the oven. And we're going to bake it in the oven 400, on 400 degrees for an hour. Guys, it smells so good. I'm just laying it out here. All right, so now we're gonna stick it in the oven. 400 degrees for an hour. We're gonna let that, we're gonna let that bake. There you have it. Okay guys, so it's all finished. I went ahead and I took a little piece from the corner so I could taste it. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I hope that you guys give this one a try. Um, pretty easy and simple. You know, and this is without chicken. You could do it with chicken and you could do it without chicken. All right, so if you guys are looking for a nice, simple, easy dish, you can go ahead and try this one out. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe so much and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.